looking at another three-day weekend. Perfect time to get into the Chippewa National Forest. Having all the water holes frozen over sure makes driving the forest roads easier. And we're finally getting some snow. A couple of months ago, I was riding the e-bike down some of these forest roads and I found this campsite. You might remember there was a bunch of toilet paper and someone left last night's spaghetti on the ground. Oh my gosh, don't look, it's so bad. We're gonna go see what it looks like today. I think this is gonna be perfect. fire pit it's gonna need a little bit of help but at least we got some reading materials Christmas catalog but in all honesty it's not that bad there's a couple of cans and bottles we'll be able to clean this place up make it feel like home tomorrow it's supposed to be nice I'm talking sunny mid 20s no wind oh I can't wait I'm gonna go inside, get the furnace started, put the slide out. I gotta level the camper yet too this afternoon. It's a perfect day, sit inside, answer some of the questions that you guys have had down in the comments. Well, I got the camper set up, but I ran into some issues. I was flying the drone and had some technical difficulties. Whatever reason, it ends up going down. It's sitting out on the lake right now. I can see it from shore. Problem is, I went with the spud bar, trying to get on the lake, and the ice is just pulled too far away. I tried casting, probably 100 casts, to try and hook the drone with a spinner, and it's not happening. What I think I'm gonna have to do is fashion a boat to get out on the lake to get the drone. <laughs> Check out what I'm thinking. Well, we're gonna use this to distribute my weight along the ice, and then we'll just paddle ourselves out there to grab the drone. I've gotta get that drone back. If at any point it gets too sketchy, we'll just turn it around. Let's go. Well, that didn't work like I wanted it to. Dang it. I gotta get my raft back. Oh, maybe an inch thick. Definitely not thick enough. All things considered, I mean, that could have went a lot worse. Some people would probably get a little nervous seeing that. 
I think that if you were to ask anybody in my life outside of YouTube, they would have said, well, no, that's exactly what Kenny would have done. I'm sure Mandy's like, well, I wouldn't have expected anything but you doing something like that. This will be nice to get some heat. Once again, the Weather Channel, they weren't telling the truth. There's no sun out there today. We're still gonna make that rib roast though. We'll get out, clean up that fire pit. After falling through the ice last night, I came in the camper, put on some warm, comfy clothes. But the idea of my drone sitting out on the ice wasn't leaving my head. That was gonna bother me all night long. So I took apart my tripod and I used the base as a grappling hook, put it on some fishing line, tossed it out there a number of times. Oh, couldn't get the drone. Eventually, I just said enough was enough. I walked around the shoreline until I found some good thick ice, I was able to walk onto the ice. Oh my gosh, we are so close. Don't break through, don't break through. I'm out here in my pajamas. Got you, got you. Oh boy, okay. So now we don't have to worry about this being out there anymore. And uh, it's no good. As far as why it failed, I'm thinking this might have had something to do with it. This plastic is pretty cheap and I don't know if this is an original DJI drone or not. I bought it from Walmart for 245 bucks and the one thing that I did notice right away is the plastic is a lot more rigid compared to the original one that I bought from DJI. But could be the same products, who knows. This morning we're gonna get outside, clean up the fire pit, pick up the campsite a little bit, hopefully find some more rocks. And I'm gonna set up the tripod, get the fire going. This afternoon we're gonna be smoking that prime rib for a New Year's Eve feast. And that's what we're gonna call it anyways. Start with the easy pickings first and the fire pit. Keeping my eyes open for more rocks because fire pit's missing some. I think we'll be able to build what the state considers an approved fire ring. Well, that worked out perfect. And I'm hoping by the end of the weekend, we'll get all this extra firewood burnt up. I've had this wood hanging off the front of the truck for at least a month. So I'll get a good hot fire going with one of these bundles. This is gonna be my first attempt at smoking a primer roast. And the research that I did shows 225 for about 30 minutes per pound. There used to be a place in Pequot Lakes called Timberjack Saloon. And they had the best smoked prime rib. I think they closed down. It's called Lakes Area Saloon now. I don't know if they still have that smoked prime rib special. And that's gonna bring us to our first question. Who's Mandy? You know, I forget that I got new viewers popping in and not everybody knows who Mandy is. And she's my girlfriend. Mandy comes with every once in a while, but she doesn't like being on camera. Yeah, the weatherman lied when he said there's gonna be no wind. She also works weekends, which is why she doesn't come and hang out with me. I got some frozen dinner rolls that I'm gonna make. I haven't decided if we're gonna smoke them over the fire or cook them on the oven. But I think we should go inside, take the prime rib out, get it seasoned up.
I'm going super simple on this one. Salt and pepper, that's it. Man, this looks good. And I think I'll just leave that netting on there. Time to season it up. Try and keep one hand clean, one hand dirty. Thought about doing a little bit of smoked paprika on there. Oh, well, who knows? That looks good for now. What does the fire look like? Oh, we definitely got time. Rhodes dinner rolls. The plan is to put them in front of the heater. They'll thaw, rise. Should be ready in a couple hours. set these guys right next to the heat vent. Fire's coming along good. And I made some changes to the tripod. I'll show you that in a second. Let's get that smoker out. So I put a double grate on here and I have this dripping pan underneath. What it's gonna do is two things. Number one, it'll catch the drippings from the meat. Number two, what it's gonna do is keep that direct heat off of that roast. Well, fingers crossed this works. We're going to lower it down a little bit and see how well we can regulate our temperature. We need to get the generator going. Earlier this week, they were saying the high was going to be around 25 degrees. Little wind and sunshine. That's not the case. We are really having a hard time getting out of the teens. 10 mile an hour wind. Yeah, I gotta charge the house batteries and get my inverters charged back up. Well, let's see if the cold weather is gonna affect the predator today. First pull. Well, I think it's time to get the roast on there. No doubt the wind is going to be my enemy tonight. Let's get this roast on. What I'm gonna be smoking on is lump charcoal and cherry wood bits. I'm gonna put the rib bone side up, down, and then try and keep it about 225 degrees in a couple hours, probably an hour and a half. I'm gonna check the internal temperature of the roast. What we're looking for is 130 degrees. Hand centered in place. We'll put on the door and let the magic happen. So was anybody yelling, Kenny, don't forget to put water in that drip pan. 
because guess what? I should have put water in that drip pan. These guys are looking good. Let's go outside and I'll show you what happened. I never even thought about this. The lack of water, well, that was shot. And it happened, thankfully, pretty quickly. But we'll see where we're sitting at now. Unfortunately, I did have the roast fall over on the side once. It's not going exactly as planned. She's looking a little crispy. Let's put our temperature probe in and see where we're at. It sure is juicy. Well, 138. I'll go inside, get something to wrap this with. Bun should be done soon. You might remember, I said we were having a feast. look done. Hot. She looks a little crispy, but I think it'll be just fine. You ready for this? I think that turned out perfect. Cuts like butter. I think I'm gonna make myself a little steak sandwich. These Rhodes buns are awesome. I don't know why I've never made prime rib at home, but after tonight, I'm definitely gonna try it in the pellet smoker. Another question that I often see down in the comments is, what kind of truck camper is this? So it's a 2004 Arctic Fox M860. It's a 20 year old camper and it's holding up beautifully. The interior inside here is pretty much all stock. I haven't done a whole lot to it. The truck is a 2015 Chevy Silverado. It's a 3500. I've done some suspension upgrades to be able to handle the camper. I'll be honest, when I'm driving down the road, I can be doing 85 on the interstate. I don't even notice this camper's in the bed of the truck. I absolutely love this combination. Another question that I get a lot of is, why don't I bring a dog with on my adventures? And the biggest reason is just because I'm so busy. I do YouTube on the weekends. I work Monday through Friday. I'm gone usually about seven o'clock in the morning and I'm home around 5.30. And I don't wanna get a dog just for the show on the channel and then not have the proper amount of time to spend with it. With that being said, I have been to the shelter a few times and eventually my best friend's gonna find me. It's just not the right time yet. I got the camper all cleaned up. I'm ready to go to bed. I'll see you next year. Same joke since middle school. taking the lock off the door. For one reason or another, the deadbolt mechanism isn't working. So I'm gonna take it apart quick this morning and see if I can't get to the bottom of it. Uh, 
This might be the perfect time to upgrade this unit if I can't get it fixed. It's a little chilly out this morning. It's about 15 degrees in the wind, about 12 miles an hour. So they're saying the feel like temperatures are around five. It's a damp cold wind too. Let's get this inside. And the part that's not working is the locking mechanism. Let's see if we can figure out what's going on there. Did it just completely snap? Oh, I think it came out of that keyway. So right here, there's a little keyway and it's supposed to fit inside here. And with that top plate being loose, I think the locking mechanism just slid out of place. This should be an easy fix. Boy, it'd be nice to have some dry lubricant. This thing is getting dirty. It's moving a lot smoother now. I think we can button it all back up. Should be good to go. I think we're back in business. What a mess. Oh, why does it gotta be so cold? Final test. Awesome. It works. You'll have to let me know if you've had any good experience with RV door locks. I've had this one for about four years. This is probably the second or third time that I've had to open it up. It was cheap enough. I didn't spend a lot of money on it. I know that these locks do get expensive, but if they make a better one, I'd definitely be interested in it. You'll have to let me know. I wanna go for a walk, but man, it's getting cold out there. It's a beautiful day. So yesterday while I was walking through the woods, getting rocks for the fire ring, I noticed off in the distance there was a tree that had some red boxes mounted to it. No idea what it is. Figured we go take a look this morning. And just in case if you were wondering, the lake, well, it's more like a river. The part where the drone was at yesterday, about two and a half, three feet deep. So I knew that even if I'd break through, it wouldn't really be an issue. I wanted to show you a really cool tree that I found yesterday. Check that out, isn't that awesome? Let's go find that red box. Well, don't tell me that it just up and disappeared. Oh, I found it. What in the world is that? I figured it out. Toilet paper holders, check this out. Look at that. That's pretty mint. We got a bathroom. There's a lake back there. Beautiful view from the bathroom. I love exploring out here in these national forests. You find the trains and stuff like that all over the place. It is pretty cool. Oh, let's get back to the camper. So I got a really exciting text message from my daughter Adele last night. You guys remember that her grandpa passed away here not too long ago and she just bought his truck. So this afternoon, I'm gonna go home and we're gonna change the oil on it. So I think that means we got this video in the bag. I mean, let's be honest, you've been hanging out with me all weekend. That's long enough. We'll do this again next weekend. Until then, be kind, be honest. We'll see you down the road.